Um, I heard a woman say, a piece of man is better than no man. You'll take a piece of a man rather than have none of the man. It don't really matter what piece you're getting as long as you get a piece. I feel like that's a very sad statement. No man should feel like that and no woman should feel like that as well. We we deserve more than a piece. Even if other people are like, nah, you deserve it. No. Everybody deserves more than a piece of a person. Like to be a woman and... You literally, you have the privilege to be able to pick and choose who you decide to talk to. So for a man to come to you and you know that this is a piece of a man and not necessarily a piece that you want and you still take that piece to just to say that you have a man, that shit is crazy to me. That shit is crazy to me. I always think about the stuff that women tolerate that men would never tolerate. Men would never tolerate. Most men... Most men, a lot of men, don't tolerate cheating. You cheat on them, it's done. You get pregnant by another man, that shit is done. Men will get another woman pregnant, and then a the woman will be like, well, you know, shit happens. Bring the baby over here, the baby can be here. Or you, the man will have a baby outside, and y'all be like, okay, well, fuck it. We're going to stay together because he didn't mean to get her pregnant. He didn't mean to not get her pregnant because he was having unprotected sex with her and he came in. Like, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. He didn't, mean, he didn't mean to not get her pregnant. That's just how I feel about it. So when I hear and I see, like, the stuff that women tolerate, and I don't know if that's coming from a place of just me being the type of woman where I'm man being alone. I, one thing about me, I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. If I feel not valued, I'm going to leave. If I feel unwanted, I'm going to leave. You don't even have to tell me that you don't want me around. If you act like you don't want me to around, I'm gone. I'm gone. I feel like women as a whole specifically really need to up their self-esteem because it is crazy right now. I, I don't even like the whole thing where women are like, well, get what you need to get out the man. And it's like, I understand that men are, you know, they're supposed to be providers and things like that. But it's like for women to be like, he want me, he want me to take him out to eat. Like, he, why wouldn't you want to treat your man nice? Why wouldn't you want to take your man out and do nice stuff for your man? Like, why wouldn't you want to do that? Why does that make him sassy? Because y'all in a relationship and he's like, you don't ever ask, you don't ever take me out. God damn. Why, why is that? Like, why is that a problem? Like, why is it that if a man that you're dating just like, you know, I would like to be taken out sometimes. So y'all like, oh, he real sassy. He won't, he want me to take him out like he's the woman. Now he wants you to take him out like he's somebody that you care about. Somebody that you would want to take out on a date and pay for the date what the hell is wrong with paying for a date or two i don't know i feel like this world is so money driven that people are like if you're not paying for everything leave me alone and it's a lot of people who have platforms that are literally pushing that agenda which i feel like if that's what you if that's what you want that's what you want but me personally i want more than that i don't think there's nothing wrong with spoiling your man and that's one of my biggest things that's the reason why when i get in a relationship I, I i have to make sure that it's for real for real because that's me it's reciprocated though it's reciprocated though i don't do no one way emotions i don't do that because it's because one way emotions gonna put me on a one-way street and 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 and, and i'm gonna leave so I like to spoil my man. I I like I like to give gifts. That's my I feel like that's my love language. Like I'm that person that's like I I'm gonna I wanna get gifts. I wanna give gifts. I want surprises. I wanna be able to surprise my man. You go put on something nice and I'm taking you out to eat tonight. I saw a post that said no woman can say that they ever took a man out and paid for everything. And I'm like, I can't. I've even done it with my male friends. Yeah, I said, let's go to Red Lobster on my tree. And he's like, your treat? I'm like, yeah. I said, you get what? Get whatever you want to get on the menu. It's Red Lobster. It ain't like this. This shit is like $2,000. I'm like, it's Red Lobster. So, um, he ordered his food. We ate. We chilled. This is a straight platonic friend. When I tell you at the end of the night, he was trying to give me the draws. Because he was like, that's how this is supposed to happen. You tell me the real lobster. And then we smash it up afterwards. Because 
I ain't never had nobody take me to Red Lobster, pay for it, and then be like, all right, I'm gonna drop you off at the crib. And I'm like, well, I do. I do. You my friend. I do stuff like that with my friends. I do stuff like that with my female friends. So, and but it's reciprocated. But men have been put in a position where men have been trained to expect nothing and give everything. And I feel like that shit is wrong. That, that shit is crazy to me. I don't even know how you fix your mouth to be like, if you can't give me money every time I see you, then you need to move around. I'm like, who raised you or who didn't raise you? What was, what, what was the lack of parenting? Who was the lack of parenting coming from? Because that's a piss poor ass mind frame to have, in my opinion, to solely date somebody for money. I don't feel like it's you. You should have money, but I'm not going to date you for your money. I'm going to want more than that. And I feel like when you date somebody just for money, it's because you ain't got no money. It's because you don't have no money on your own so that's something that you're specifically seeking out from another person to be able to fulfill in your life that you're not able to fulfill in your own life because i got my own 40 dollars. so if you got 40 dollars and you got 80 dollars and you got 40 dollars for me i still need for you to have more going on than you just having 40 dollars and so i feel like that's a big thing too it's the women who are pushing this agenda of like get the money get the money get the money men ain't nothing they ain't good for nothing but money 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 they ain't got no money they don't have no money of their own and that's a whole nother story that's a whole nother topic but that's how i feel, I feel like you don't have no money on your own if you are going out your way to try to get money from other people and like if you can't take me, if you can't give me money and take me out anytime I want to, then I'm not finna deal with you. Cause it's other dudes that will, it's other dudes that'll do a whole lot of shit. It's other dudes that'll cheat. It's other dudes that'll beat your ass. It's other dudes that'll unalive you. It's other dudes that'll treat you good. It's other dudes that'll treat you bad. It's other dudes that'll smile in your face and disrespect you behind your back. So it's like, don't sit and demean men like that. I feel like men are tired of putting up and shutting up having to deal with, with women talking to them any type of way and they can't say shit back and they're not supposed to say shit back because if they do they gonna be damn sassy one lady was i saw one lady say if if i'm yelling at my man and then my man yelling back at me i feel like that's sassy i feel like that's human because why the fuck is you yelling at me why are you yelling at me you think you're the only person that can yell and you're really not you're really not. So I just, I feel like it's so many different hierarchies right now. And the shit is weird. This whole sassy thing, part of it I get, but a bit, a large part of it I don't get. It's like, if a man is expressing to you the way that he feels, that is not fucking sassy. That is him communicating. That's him communicating, doing what we all complain about men not doing. It's communicating. And when they choose to communicate with you, we like, mm -mm, that's sassy. That's sassy. That's too sassy. They're doing what you want them to do. They, they're finally communicating with you, telling you, I don't like when you talk to me like this. I don't like that you do this. I don't like that you do that. I don't like when you do this. I don't like when you do that. It made me feel this way. And y'all like, uh-uh, he's sassy. But then let him not communicate and he is a toxic male. So it's like you can't win for losing. And I'm not just on a man sad rampage because men be tripping just like women be tripping. But me being on social media, like the prevalence of what I see is just like a lot of, in my opinion, broken women who are searching for so many things inside of other people, specifically money and validation. If you get in a lot of money out of a man all the time, trust and believe you ain't just sitting around looking pretty. Don't let him lie to you. Don't let nobody lie to you. And don't lie to yourself. If you want to like, well, I don't have to do nothing. Okay. Okay. Because every woman, regardless of her physical appearance, can get cheated on. Nobody is above it. 
Nobody is above, nobody is above getting cheated on. Nobody is above being made a baby mama. I wouldn't give a damn if you married your husband and y'all had a baby and then y'all got a divorce. You a baby mama now. You a baby mama now. So nobody is above my my and my my friend used to say this. He said nobody is above everything happening to them. And people really need to understand it and just like grasp that. It's like you are not above everything happening to you. Anything can happen to anybody and everything can happen to everybody. So be, be better. I just, I don't know if it's just as I get older, I just sit on social media and I'm like, you bitches is trash. And I don't like that. I don't like that. Like, since you're worth way more than a man that just got money. And they're like, well, men ain't good for nothing. I don't know. I don't know. I don't date enough to even speak on that. But the men that I've come in contact with, I have never dealt with a lot of stuff that a lot of people deal with. And then there are some things that some people have dealt with that I have dealt with. And they probably haven't dealt with the things that I've dealt with. But when I hear these stories on TikTok and Facebook about the type of stuff that women go through on dates, I've never, I ain't never been in none of those situations. And it just makes me feel like if a man knows that all you want from them is money, they're going to treat you whatever kind of way because they know all you want is money. They're like, I could treat you like shit as long as I throw you some money at the end. And it's a lot of women that'll stay around for that. And that shit is crazy. That shit is crazy.